What? Yes. And no Trump questions. Okay. I have nothing else to ask you. I can't believe I'm stuck in an elevator with God. Although I guess you are everywhere and in all places. No, you're thinking of Kevin Hart. <laughs> I know, right? In, in every movie. Him and The Rock. Oh, I love The Rock. No, 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 I love The Rock, too. He's just, he's just in a lot of stuff. You know, his real name is Dwayne Johnson. Yeah, I know. We have Us Weekly on Earth, too. Wait, why are you here? Shouldn't you be up in heaven? There was an issue. A, a few angels came forward. I don't remember things exactly as they do, but I respect their experience. How did I get here? Well, you had a couch attached to your back, and you fell down the stairs and hit your head pretty hard. Am I in a Leftovers? Is this a Leftovers? I don't know what that is. It was an HBO show starring a bottle of hair dye. Man, this thing is really stuck. Hey, can you use your guard powers to get us out? No, they don't really work in elevators. Kind of like a cell phone. I don't have a signal. I have a cell phone. It's silver. That's rad, Peter. I always dreamed of being stuck in an elevator with Tom Brady. That makes two of us. Can I ask you my Tom Brady questions? I wouldn't deign to speak for Tom Brady. Understood, understood. Hey, do atheists go to hell? No. How about people who say they are not religious, but they are spiritual? Straight to hell, to the boiler room of hell, all the way down. Sometimes I pull them out just so they think everything is going to be okay, but then I put them right back in. Good. Good. That makes me happy. Um, God, here's something you might be able to tell me. Will Taylor Swift and Katy Perry ever reconcile their differences? What are you looking for? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm looking for the gay guy who can answer that one. Some people say we're just a computer simulation run by a higher species. Is that true? It is. My guy sucks. Want to trade guys for a little while? Oh, never mind. I'll stick with this pile of crap I already have. All right, can you name every SNL actor alphabetically? Alphabetically by last name? Yes. And no featured players? Yeah, okay. Fred Armisen, Dan Aykroyd, Morwenna Banks, Vanessa Don Lovitz, Blair. Norm MacDonald, Gail Mathias. Gail Mathias, good pull. Michael McKeon, Mark McKinney, Nancy Walls, Kristen Wiig, and Sashir Zamata. Wow. Now do kids in the hall. That was five guys, Peter. Name them. I can't. Does reincarnation exist? It does. As past human lives or as animals? Both. Who have I been? You were Henry VIII. Wow! Let me finish. You were Henry, the eighth guy to have sex with Rock Hudson at one of his pool parties. Aw. How many more shows is John Stamos going to get? Zero. Good. That's... that's good. Are you real? Do you think I'm real, Peter? I like to believe there's something bigger than me out there keeping a watch out. Different people think different things. I'm kind of like a nanny cam. The idea that I may exist is enough for some people to behave better. When I used to ask my mom what God was, she would say, God is love. I always liked that. That's nice, Peter. God and love are very similar concepts. They come from the same place. Tatooine? <laughs> I always forget you're such a Star Wars guy. Man, when are they going to fix this elevator? It's not broken. I just haven't decided where it's going yet. <gasps> what's a mezzanine? It's like a loge. Well, what's a loge? Oh, hey, what's with all the questions? Yeah, you don't know either. What? Wait, hold on. Am I... Am I dead? Yes. Oh, my God! Since you're now a ghost, would you like to do pottery while straddling present-day to me more? Pass. Yeah, not getting a lot of takers for that one. I feel like the bones in her back would hurt my tummy. Am I... am I really dead? Well, if you weren't dead, would you feel nothing when I do this? Ah, son of a bitch! Uh, you know what, that's right, it takes a day. My, my bad, sorry. Tomorrow I do that, you feel nothing. But trust me, you're dead. But I can't be... Oh, hold on, give me a sec. <laughs> I can't be dead. I have a family who needs me. Actually, Peter, from what I've seen, I think your family would be better off without you. What? What do you mean? Well, you're an inattentive husband and a terrible parent. 
Oh, says Father of the Year. Oh, please, he played that for all it was worth. Why hast thou forsaken me? You know what? I did him a favor. Okay, well, there's a lot to unpack there, but come on, God, you gotta give me another chance. I'll show you how good a husband and father I can be. Are you asking for a second chance? I, I guess so. Huh. No one's ever done that. You know what? You're on. I'll give you one day to prove to me that your family is better off with you alive. I'll return you to your life before you were in a coma. Thanks, God. I know I can do it. I've faced bigger challenges. Like when I recorded that Russian language album. Vodka.